Hey folks, got a little video I was going to share with you, a little project I'm getting ready to start on this old wrecker here, nothing special, old 85 Ford with a home 440 on it, I painted it, bed used to be blue, truck was brown, so we painted her white and black, but this one's got a little trick to it, if you'll notice. The winch that goes down there, the gear driven one, is gone. And we have a Harbor Freight 12,000 pound winch mounted up here on the top. And it finally died. I've had this winch for about five years on three different vehicles. This truck I put together out here being the last one. And I promise you, it's earned the right to die. I have used and abused this thing. I finally burnt the motor up in it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put a new winch on it. And in case anybody's wondering if they got one they want to do this to, way well, I did this, I mounted this 12,000 pound winch right here, this Harbor Freight one, to their universal mounting plate right here. And it works real good because you got your rollers. When you do heavy loads, you can pull it that way or sideways and it's still got something to roll on. But we put it on this mounting plate and bolted it down to the top of this 440 record bed pretty slick and uh, with this tow light record light on it it hides it you can't see it hardly unless you really get up here and look and going down the road or using it people just think it's a regular record and you got the wireless remote and everything and one thing i really like about the electric winches no hydraulics you don't have to deal with ptos no pumps no leaky seals no hydraulic cylinders going out nothing or busted hoses. Anybody got hydraulics, they know all about them. So, and very cheap maintenance. Five years, one winch, 300 bucks. You can't beat that. So, like I said, we will be changing this out today. And I don't know what the difference is. <coughs> Bear with me here. Arbor Freight has changed their winches. They're still the Badland brand, but now they're a ZXR. I don't know what the difference is. The only thing I've seen different was the little handle on it. I don't know. I'm sure there's something. I just hope it ain't like everything else. They change it and improve it and make it worse. Because the old one's been really good. So, like I said, we'll get started. I'll take the bolts out and everything up top. And we'll get that dude changed out. But if anybody's thinking about doing that, it works really, really well. I have had no complaints with it. It works awesome. If anybody's curious, get this out and see what comes in the box, the way it's shipped, the way it's packaged. This is what you'll be getting on this Harbor Freight winch, at least the new ones. Uh -huh. Winch remote control on top, which we have wireless on this, so... It's nice to have for backup though, in case something ever happens, you can finish your job. Got mounting bolts, hook, a little bit of extra cable for mounting it up, which we'll need in a little bit. And your fuse diode block out, which I had this on the other one, and it's supposed to be 150 amp, but it didn't take nothing to kick this out. It drove me nuts, I took mine off. So, take that for what it's worth. And there's the rest of it. Troll box, all your relays and whatnot in it. New roller fair lead, which will probably change. And like I said, the only new difference I've seen was this handle. So, let me get this out and we'll show you some more here in a minute. Hey folks, got her out of the box. So here it is. I will say one thing, the action of this is a lot smoother than the old one was, even from day one. And these rollers are super smooth. Them old ones that's up on that other one was never that smooth. So I'm definitely going to be changing these. So, and one thing I like about the Harbor Freight is that most winches don't have even your warns and stuff. And they are worth their weight in gold. Which is why I went ahead and spent the money on this. Because you can buy some cheaper ones offline that are pretty good. Which, made in China, once somebody makes it, everybody copies it. Looked like the same motor to me and everything. But Harbor Freight has got this level line right here. This keeps your line pretty well straight and level. If you don't, it spools, it 
it's a mess even if you get something to bind and it pops and that winch cable goes back in just a little bit you'll have a rat nest in here so this is very very nice highly recommend that's why i went ahead and just spent the money and went back and got another one plus that old one was so good to me it's up there as you can see loved it so i just went ahead and did this but i i can tell the difference there and these these are super smooth them other ones are never that good so but as far as the zxr i don't know if they've changed anything in the gearing or anything in the motor or not so i don't know can't tell you that but like i said so far it noticed a few little differences so i'm not going to bore you to death with me changing this like i said it's just mounted to the the harbor freight universal mounting plate and it's mounted right on top of this i drilled four holes and mounted it the, the plate down and mounted the winch to it so i'm just going to change it and i'll show you the winch on it when we get done i said i ain't gonna bore you with that that's pretty basic but let me walk around this truck i'll show you this too while we got the camera going before i change it if anybody does do this the way i did mine i mounted the brain controls right here on the back and i'll be changing them out too because you got new parts put the new ones on but i mounted that there and that wireless remote is mounted up right there underneath everybody's wondering what that is i didn't cut the cable you'll run a wire from the winch all the way up to your battery so but the wireless remote right there always leave your antenna exposed where your remote will work a little green wire if it's showing up on the camera but i did that it kept it all nice neat and hid can't hardly tell it and then with the light bar up there the winch behind it you can't see it it looks just like a regular wrecker like I said, I like them because you ain't got no hydraulics or nothing. Very cheap maintenance. So, I'll get this changed and I will show you this when we get done. Hey folks, something I forgot to mention. I actually forgot I had it bolted down that way. If you'll notice, on this plate that the winch bolts to, this universal mounting plate, on top of this Holmes 440, it sits perfectly flush. You'll see that. And the way I did that, forgot I had it bolted down that way I already mentioned it before where these bolts are you can see it up here there's four of them right there that's where the winch actually bolts down to and the way I did that I run the bolts from up underneath and they come through and screwed into the winch I didn't mount it under the plate and then mount the plate on I actually set this flush bolted it down over here with four bolts and then set the winch down and run the bolts up underneath and screwed the winch down to this. So, if you're going to do this, don't forget to, to make it look nice and flush like this. We don't want it with a gap looking gaudy. That's how you do it. So, like I said, just make note of that to drill your holes up here. The way I did, I set it down drilled my holes through where everything was going to go and then bolted everything down. So, anyway, thought I'd mention that because i forgot it so i'll be back when i get it mounted okay folks we are done we got her mounted she's up there she looks pretty nice you can see it or not hopefully it's coming up good it's all in done mounted best part we got remote all good toys got remotes Works just like a regular. But I still have the cord. In case this one ever quits on me. But she is up. And she's running. So, like I said, you can just sit here with the remote. It's all I use. But, like I said, I use this all the time. And I'm glad to have it back. So, but now you can see how she works. Hope swing just goes right up and down with the remote like a regular record works right off that harbor freight winch up there said you gotta look to see it so i was pretty happy with it. like i said there's no pto's no pumps no hydraulics no nothing this is no homes 440 mechanical bed and there's there's nothing to it and you mount this up there it's very low maintenance and i just love it so, in case anybody's curious, let me kill this truck. I 
I'll show you how I mounted the wires. 460, in case anybody wants to know. The way I mounted it, I mounted this right to the solenoid up here right on the hot side. Right off the hot of the battery. Make sure you get on the right side or if you do it on the other side it only works when the starter kicks in. Then we did a lot of zip tying. Keep everything tight. Went down the fender well. And you go under here. You can see all the zip ties. Just went right across the frame. Made sure nothing was sharp to cut it or nothing. All nice, neat, and tucked away. And then we come up right up through the bed right here. Went on up and kept everything hid and tucked away. So. Thought I'd share that with everybody and hopefully someone it'll help someone else build a little record one day. And also when you run this, these winches pull a lot of amperage. I think when I put a clamp meter on it was like 250 somewhere in there. So I run big. Let me see if I can get it on here. Double lot. Two slash zero gauge. That's what that is. And you want copper end connectors and double lock cable big cable don't cheap on it if you do you can melt your wire half shorts burn your truck down so please don't do that but like i said that's it hope that helps hope you like it like i said we got our toy back so i'm happy and as always please like subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video i'm gonna pick up tools bye